having a stupid name. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Select action figure review on the Disney Store exclusive Planet Hulk. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it right now at the Disney Store. I just said it was a Disney Store exclusive. Anyway, uh, you can see on the side we get this nice image of Planet Hulk right over there without all of his armor or anything, so it kind of looks a little bit different. And then on the very back you can see a nice product shot. And on the side there's not much going on or at the top and nothing at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Planet Hulk out of the packaging, looking pretty awesome, man. I really like the paint apps on this guy and the sculpted details, as Diamond Select usually does with their select figures. Now, I did find this at the Disney Store, as you guys saw, it's an exclusive. I did a little video uh, on the Nick Italian's YouTube channel, so if you want to check out our vlog with me and Charlita One, and I picked this fig figure up and I showed it off in that video, so just gotta throw that plug out there, link in the description below if you want to check out the vlogs. But anyway, let's get a closer look at the accessories. Yeah, check out this axe, man. This is incredible. I love all the details right here on the edge. That's really sweet. I like how it comes down right here to a nice blade. That's very, very nice looking like all this texturing that we're seeing right over here. We get this beautiful bronze look and it has that green weathering to it and everything. Looks very nice. It's quite pointy, so do be careful with it. And then you can see this nice wrap going throughout. Then we get some details with the red right here at the very bottom of the handle. Looking really nice. Again, the, this wrap. Man, I love the details on these. This is great. Uh, now, one thing that's a bit unfortunate, and the back of the packaging shows him holding this in his left hand, and that makes the most sense because, you know, he has this armor on his left arm, so why would he hold the shield in his left arm? But I actually prefer having it the other way around because he just holds the axe better uh, with his right hand than his left hand. I mean, this is really loose. As you saw earlier, I had this leaning against his ribs right over there, but he can't really hold this. It just kind of falls right out. This hand is just has nowhere near near an axe gripping pose. So that's a bit frustrating. But looking at the shield over here, which I really dig as well, and you get these nice straps right here on the inside of it so that he can hold it on either side, but and they're pliable too, so that's really good, you know. Durable and pliable, but I really like the details as far as that wrap goes. And then you get this leather strap right over here with some gold parts right there. And I really like the texturing on the inside of it as well. You can see some black fading in and out over there. Looks very cool. Then on the front of it, wow. Ooh, and again, eh, not as pointy as some of the other parts, but man, I love the details right here. Look at that. And that natural bronze weathering, you know, that green it just looks so good. I really like it a lot. I love all the battle damage done to it. All these gashes and lines. Very impressive and very well made. I really dig this. Here's looking at the Planet Hulk head sculpt next to an image of Planet Hulk that I found online, which I think is the inspiration for this figure, right? I think it's what they modeled it after. But looking at the head sculpt, I do like it. Would have actually preferred a screaming head sculpt, but still, I do like it. You know, he's got a big bottom lip though, but I like how the helmet looks and everything. I wish it was removable though, so that's one gripe I have with that as well. But I really like the paint and I really like the texturing of his skin and the way the eyes came out and everything. At first I thought his neck was really skinny from images that I saw on Online, but now that I have it in person, it doesn't look so bad at all. I, I like it. But looking at the details right here, I like this right here. I think this is a Sakaar logo of some sort. I can't remember off the top of my head. I did read the World War Hulk series, but I don't remember, you know, exactly what that is. And then looking at the frill right over here, or the mohawk, you know, we've got the feathers right there looking very cool. I love how we have that orange going through the middle, and we have black mixed in there. And you do attach this so it comes separately, and you just have to assemble that by just plugging it in. You get two ports on the front and the back of the helmet and boom, there it goes. Looks very good. I kind of want to heat this up and straighten it out, but at the same time, I kind of like how it has, you know, that churn right over there. Kind of looks like wind is blowing against it some. But looking at the rest of the figure, man, this is really cool. Now, I think this device right here, it blows up or something or it kills him, I think, if he tries to escape. That's just me trying to remember off the top of my head, but I really like the way this is painted. You get some white right there in the center, very nice clean deco. Then we get some nice gold. I really love the skin tone. I love that we have these darker portions and then we get these highlights right over here That looks very good. Nice sculpted detail and great musculature for the Hulk. Looks awesome It's right hand looks really good or right arm. Anyway looks good. We get this nice band right here 
and then you get this hand, which, you know, as I had mentioned earlier, is better for holding the axe. So you can see, you know, when I get this in here, it's still kind of loose. Yeah, you can see it's kind of tricky getting him to hold this, but you can squeeze that in there. And when it's in his hand, it's still loose. So I wish even with this hand, we had a tighter grip. But if you kind of pull away from the fingers, you can get these fingers and thumb kind of pushing against it. So there's some friction right there. Ah, dang it, I ruined it. You can get him holding it like that and he'll hold it. Ooh, there it goes. Yeah, so it's not the best grip, but it's something, you know. Then we get some nice fingernails right over there. They're all beat up and everything. Very cool. Then looking at this other arm and this giant shoulder pad. Oh my goodness, I love it. This natural oxidation of the bronze just looks so cool to me. I just really love it. it just looks very real. Very, very cool. We get even some nice texturing in all of these spikes over here, and they are pointy. Uh, they're not anti-venom pointy, but still, they're, they're quite pointy. And then you have this whole metal sleeve right over here looking awesome. I love that silver dry brushing. That looks so good. Oh, man, that is so great. I love that. Very, very cool looking arm right there. And then the hands look really good too. You know, you get the veins and everything. We talked about the fingernails. And then looking at this whole belt and the skirt piece, nice gold paint, nice soft material right over here. Little picked out details, nice gashes and all that stuff. You know, we got some whole buttons right there. This whole thing, this isn't really for weapon storage. I thought about trying it, but nah, it's not gonna work. We get some Hulk butt, oh, he's got his shorts on. Damn you, gotta be such a prude, Hulk, damn. But anyway, we get some nice texturing right over here again. Gashes and all that stuff, and no, he's, he's not that kind of Hulk. He's just not that kind of Hulk. But anyway, looking right over here, looks very good. I love how we get this very realistic leathery straps right there. We get those gorgeous Hulk toes. And I really love how we have this wood grain right here for his chunkless. That looks really neat. I wish he had peg holes at the bottom of his feet, but still, I, I do like the sculpted detail of it. Looks very good. Yeah, very well done figure. Now, as far as our articulation goes, it's not too shabby, not the greatest. I mean, you can't move his head up, wish it could look up, but nah. you can move his head downward. You get side to side movement over here and you do get some head tilting side to side. So you get some head pivot and then shoulder on the left side can only move outward that far. It can move all the way down on the right side. It could obviously move much farther outward and you can do a full 360 right over here. And then you get a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow that doesn't really meet 90 degrees. And and then you get a hinge at the wrist that, that moves up and down a bit and you can rotate on this side right here. Same thing, rotates and moves up and down. This single jointed elbow bends in that far. We get a diaphragm joint turning side to side. You get some diaphragm pivot right there and he barely crunches forward, crunches back just a tad bit more but not much at all. He does have a waist swiveler right there. Then his hip joints can move outward quite a bit. I'm not gonna push it more than that but that's as far out as I can move those hip joints. Uh, you can kick forward that much and back just a tiny bit upper thigh cut single jointed knee then the ankles do move down and they don't move up too much and he does have a nice ankle pivot now measuring out this planet hulk figure you can see that to the top of his helmet uh, he's at about 12 inches tall but to the top of his head he's closer to about 10 and a half inches tall then here's your select planet hulk figure next to a couple other notable select hulk figures we have the incredible hulk which is actually the first marvel select hulk figure then we have the sylvestri inspired hulk which i think was also a disney store exclusive then here's the planet hulk next to the Marvel Select Juggernaut, just because people like to see the Select Juggernaut in comparisons. Then here's a Planet Hulk figure compared to the Gladiator Hulk that we got from Marvel Legends, the comic book version from Marvel Legends. And then we have the Gladiator Hulk from the Thor Ragnarok Build-A-Figure Wave. Oh man, with so many Hulks around, you know what that means? Hulk Toes Party, yeah! Whoa, so many Hulk Toes! Then here's a Planet Hulk figure next to another big green meanie, the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So even with all the little gripes that I have with this figure, you know, especially this left side not working out the way I'd like it to, I would would rather have him armed with the left hand, but it just works out better having him hold the axe in his right hand, and that looks very cool. It's a very awesome display piece. You know, you're not gonna get a whole ton of articulation out of it, but I gotta say, I do like this more than the Hasbro Marvel Legends comic Planet Hulk figure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the figure. Again, please check out the Neek Italians vlog channel. Link in the description below. If you wanna see more Shardimus Prime videos, be sure to hit that subscribe subscribe button for more videos coming your way. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted. And I gotta give a big thanks to all these people over here for supporting this YouTube channel. Your support goes a long way and I really appreciate it. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at MarvelousNews.com and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. I'm gonna play with my toys today. I'm gonna play with my toys today.
Hey, let me show you some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.